Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Now for today's video, I'm going to be doing a video talking about the problems that I personally have with Christmas and just telling you some truth bombs about Christmas that you probably did not know. And yes, this video is heavily inspired by Charity Cross video, The Truth About Christmas. I will link that down below. It'll be the first link down below. And after I saw his video, I just thought, wow, more people need to hear these things that he said in his video. So this is my own little twist on on the facts that he said in his video. I will be taking all the stuff from his video and just putting my own little twist on it. So yeah, don't yell at me that I'm copying him. It's my own little twist on video. And yeah, I just thought be, it was important that more people knew about this stuff. So yeah, let's get right into the video where I'll, I will first talk about the problems I personally have with Christmas. So the first problem that I personally have with Christmas is consumerism. Around Christmas time, people just buy and buy and buy and buy. You know how people are always like stressed because they have to buy presents for people they don't even know? Like yeah, people are buying presents for every single person they've ever seen in their entire life. And uh, then the uh, like shops and stuff are marking off of that because they're doing Christmas themed everything. And that just gets them so much more money. Like you're around Christmas time, you're more than lucky to buy something. You're more than lucky to buy something that is Christmas is Christmas themed that is not. So for companies, Christmas is just a big consumerism holiday because you know everybody feeds into that. Everybody buys Christmas stuff. Everybody buys a million gifts for their kids, and it's just a big consumerism holiday. And that goes into the next thing that I personally have a problem with Christmas: spoiled kids. Spoiled kids are just so bad because. These parents, they buy their kids so much stuff to compensate. Um, like, they think that if they buy them so much stuff, that will compensate for the for them not giving them the love that they need. But really, it just makes them really spoiled. And then, if you buy the kids too much stuff, then they will not appreciate the small things. Like, like there's some kids, like, most kids around Christmas time, I think, at least a lot of kids around Christmas time, and their parents give them basically everything off of their list and it costs like hundreds if not thousands of dollars and then the kids are like but it's the wrong type but you didn't get that one but it's the wrong color and then they cry and cry and cry and then there are kids that barely get anything like ever so yeah spoiled kids are just a big problem that comes about around christmas time because they don't appreciate um basically anything <laughs> now into the part where i am going to tell you some truths about christmas that you probably did not know okay so if you make christmas about family and friends and giving to people then you know that's okay i really don't have a problem with you know you people who just make it about family and friends and giving because you know that's always good just spending time with your family and spending time with your friends and making people happy that's that's good Okay, I don't really, um, have a problem with you if that's how you celebrate Christmas, but the people I have, the people that this video is for, are people that, um, think that it's all about, uh, Jesus' birthday, because it's actually not, uh, no hard feelings, I actually didn't know this before, either, so I don't blame you for not knowing, and, you know, you can believe what, you can believe what you want, I don't care what religion you have, but... Don't be ignorant to new information, because that's what I will be presenting to you today, because most likely you did not know any of this, because uh, the public has um, been really good at hiding it from people. So, the meaning of Christmas actually is not, or at least was not originally, Jesus. I know. Mind blown. Christmas was actually originally a pagan holiday set forth by the Roman Empire Constantine to make Christianity the most popular religion. And if you don't know, a pagan person is just a person holding religious beliefs other than the um, main world religion. So basically, nowadays, anyone who isn't Christian or Muslim, you could be considered a pagan. So yeah, it was originally a pagan holiday set forth in the uh, 330, I believe. If I'm wrong, please don't kill me. But yes, so, uh, didn't have anything to do with Jesus at all. The, uh, um, Roman Empire Constantine just wanted to make Christianity popular, so he put it at the end of a, uh, pagan holiday, so people would adjust better to it, you know? And some Christian traditions just explained, uh, Christmas trees were used to decorate temples for the god Saturn, Mistletoe was used by ancient druids because they believed it had, you know, mystical, mystical powers. 
and presents were given during winter solstice to celebrate the coming of spring. All pagan traditions. Nothing to do with Christianity. <laughs> and Christmas was actually outlawed in the New World when Puritans came, since it was so pagan, because they were like, I ain't having any of that pagan stuff in our New World, okay? But in uh, the 1680s, it started being okay, since companies realized that gift giving could be profitable. Yes, it started from consumerism, like I mentioned earlier. <laughs> yep. And uh, the stories of Santa Claus came from an actual person who named St. Nicholas who gave gifts to the poor. So, yeah, Santa Claus came from a real person, but he originally gave gifts to the poor. But in the 1880s, companies decided to change it to children, to people would rather give gifts to little kids than to poor people. Yeah, that messed me up when I heard it. I was like, um, wow, that's kind of dark that <laughs> companies uh, change the, uh, if you're a little kid, just click away from this video. Like, companies change, like, the myth of Santa Claus to give it to kids instead of the poor so they can make money off of it. So, yeah, it went from consumerism, I mean, it went from pagan to consumerism, and now it's about Jesus? No. So yeah, and now they just make it about making, the companies just make it about making as much money as possible, which I don't think it is good, because <laughs> we should be able to enjoy our time here and not be cluttered up with all this stuff that we're not even going to use later. Like, most of the stuff that I get as gifts, I don't even use, like, like, a few weeks, few months, a year later, I don't even use, so... Getting lots of stuff for no reason just isn't a good idea, period. Okay? And, uh, yeah, the main point that I wanted to get across in this video is that uh, Christmas is not and was never about Jesus. It was a pagan holiday that turned into consumerism because companies wanted to make money. <laughs> so, yeah, okay, and here's the kicker. Here's the, like, big one that I was really surprised with in, um, the video that I watched to make this video. Did you know that Americans spend $465 billion on Christmas presents each year? That's one day. $465 billion. That could go, could have gone to helping the poor, feeding starving children, or helping endangered species. Four hundred sixty-five billion dollars. One country, America. One year, this year. Yep. And Charity Croft actually talks more about what we could do with this money instead of wasting it on gifts. They'll just be wasted anyway in his video. So, again, a link to his video is in uh, uh, my bot is in my description box. It's the first link down below. So yes, I hope that you did learn something from this video. I definitely know that I learned a lot from watching his video. And I'm just glad to be able to share this information with you. Um, uh, you know, again, because I want more people to be able to know this. Because I really don't think that many people know this since, you know, I didn't know it. And yeah, I just really don't like consumerism. I would rather be a minimalist than have lots of junk that I don't use. And if you don't know, a minimalist is someone that only has things that they absolutely need. Like, I guess, toothbrush, um, some clothes. And you know, they only have stuff they absolutely need. They don't buy random stuff. And I would much rather be that kind of person than someone who hoards stuff. And uh, that vegan couple, that's a uh, you know, I subscribe to, they're actually minimalist, and I'm kind of expi inspired from them to be minimalist as well. So, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. I feel it's kind of like all around, just ran, just you know, if you felt that it wasn't organized, I'm sorry, but I try best to make it organized and not that um, offensive. But if you still got offended, I am sorry. I did not mean to offend anyone, but I'm just wanted to let you know the truth about Christmas and some problems that I personally have with Christmas. Now, if you enjoy celebrating Christmas and you're just like, but, but it's fine, but, but I like all the traditions and it's fun stuff, it's fine, I'm not really attacking you, but the people who are just, are like, Jesus' birthday was on Christmas, and if you don't celebrate Christmas, then you're just, um, 
terrible person. Yeah, those are kind of the people I wanted to inform in this video. My grandma's one of those people, and I just want to, and when she said, you know, the reason for those things isn't Jesus, I was like, no, it was a pagan holiday. And I forgot to mention, Jesus' birthday would have been in, like, spring to October, since shepherds flock their herds in that time. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm having new videos come out soon so i hope you will look forward to those and if you and and if you want to see my videos just remember to click the bell and the notifications so that you'll be notified whenever i upload so i hope you have a, a wonderful day happy new year and i'll see you later bye